You want to unlock the secret to perfect 3D prints within Prusa Slicer? Well, stay tuned to discover how layer height can make or break your projects and find out which setting is your ultimate game changer right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here. Welcome back to this channel. Today we are diving into the world of 3D printing and talking about something that is crucial to get the best results from your 3D prints. Layer heights in Prusa Slicer. We will be looking at layer heights ranging from 0.05 millimeters up to 0.28 millimeters. We are discussing how these settings affect detail print speed and overall quality. So let's dive right in. Layer height is one of the key settings in 3D printing that determines the quality and speed of your 3D prints. In Prusa Slicer, you have the flexibility to choose different layer heights depending on your project's need. Let's take a closer look at the different layer heights and what they mean for your prints. First up, we have the 0.05 millimeter layer height. This is one of the finest settings you can use. It's perfect for detailed prints where you want the best possible surface and finish and the highest level of details. At 0.05 millimeter, your printer will lay down a very thin layers of filament. This means that more layers overall resulting in smoother surfaces and finer details. However, this also means that your print times will be significantly longer. For example, a model that might take 5 hours to print at a coarser layer height could take 15 hours or more at 0.05 mm. So when should you use 0.05 mm? Good question. It is ideal for small models with intricate details like miniatures or parts where fine features that need to be precise. But keep in mind the trade-off in print time. Next, let's look at 0.10 mm layer height. This is still considered a fine layer height, providing excellent detail and surface quality. Printing at 0.10 mm offers a good balance between details and print time. You'll get great surface finish and detail, but won't take as long as printing at 0.05 mm. This makes it a popular choice for models that need to look good but don't have extreme fine details. Use 0.10 millimeters for detailed models that still need to be printed within a reasonable time frame. It's great for functional parts that require precision and good aesthetics. Now let's move to 0.15 millimeters. It is a very common layer height for general purpose prints. It offers a good compromise between details and speed. At 0.50 millimeters, you will still get a decent detail and surface finish, but your prints will complete faster compared to the 0.10 millimeters and the 0.05 millimeters. This makes it a versatile choice for a wide range of projects, from prototypes to decorative items. 0.50 millimeters gives you a good balance between quality and speed. But if you are not sure which layer height to start with, 0.15 mm is a great middle ground. Next we have 0.20 mm layer height. This is the standard layer height for many 3D printers and is great for printing large models quickly. At 0.20 mm you can print significantly faster without sacrificing too much detail. This is ideal for larger objects where fine details aren't as critical. The print surface will be smooth enough for most applications and the increased speed can save you hours on big objects. If you are working on a big project 
and need to save time, 0.20 millimeters is a solid choice. You will get good quality prints and finish your jobs way quicker. Finally, let's talk about 0.30 millimeters. This is a coarse layer height used primarily for very fast prints or for large, less detailed models. At 0.30 millimeters, your print will lay down fewer layers, meaning much faster print times. The trade-off is that you will see more pronounced layer lines and less details. This setting is best for functional prototypes where speed is more important than aesthetics. Use 0.30 millimeters when you need to print large objects quickly and the visual quality isn't as critical. It's perfect for draft prints and functional parts where precision is less important. So to sum this up, use 0.05 millimeters for the highest details but expect long print times. 0.10 millimeters offers a good balance of details and time for intricate models. Use 0.50 millimeters is great for general purpose prints with balance of quality and speed. 0.20 millimeters is ideal for larger prints that need to be finished faster. And 0.30 for quick functional parts where details is less important. Choosing the right layer height depends on your project's requirement. I hope this breakdown helps you to decide which settings to use for your next print. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more 3D printing tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and check out this video right over here.